Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, represented his book Armenian Question at Peace Conference in Paris. The Zaytun's March symbol of Western Armenia in the fight for freedom. International military experts highly appreciate Armenian production displayed at IDEX 2019. 21st February as the International Mother Language Day. One of the last survivors of genocide against Armenians passed away in Argentina. St. Kyriakos Armenian Church in the Arbeki can be renovated. On February 22 in Paris, President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian presented to the audience his book Armenian Question at Peace Conference. The Armenian issue, the legal status of Western Armenia, and the position and decision of allied powers were presented to the public in a more detailed and systematic way. During the presentation of the book, President Armenak Abrahamian responded with great pleasure to all the questions of audience. We will provide more detailed information about the book in the near future. The March of Zaytun, written in the 1860s by the founder of the Art of Armenian Opera composer Tigran Chukajan and poet Harutun Chakriyan, became a special anthem of the national liberation struggle of Armenians in the late 19th and early 20th century. It is not a coincidence that in 1968, the monument's bells played this melody on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of Sardarabad battle. Zaytun's march inspired the participants of the Garabakh movement. It was even introduced in 1991 as one of the possible versions of the Armenian anthem. The residents of Zaytun have always struggled for their freedom, and a brilliant example for this is one of the most important moments in the history of Western Armenia, the Rubaiyan of 1869. The conflict between Armenians and Turks was explained by the fact that in June of 1862, the Turkish army consisting of 40,000 militants established in Zaytun. They clashed with self-defense groups, which consisted of about 7,000 people. Because of the superiority of the Turkish army, they were able to occupy a few Armenian villages. Self-defense units and locals found shelter in the city. In August, Turkish troops surrounded Zeytun. However, bright fighters managed to repel the enemy forces. Having heavy losses, the Turks left the trophy and left Zeytun. The rebellion of Zeytun had a wide international outspread. Inspired by the success, the Grand Chukajan wrote his famous Zeytun's March, a special anthem for the national liberation struggle. International military experts have highly appreciated the Armenian military production displayed at the IDX 2019 International Defense Exhibition and Conference, which took place in Abu Dhabi, mentioned Armenian Defense Ministry spokesman Artsun Hovanisian. IDX 2019 is a global exhibition that is being held in Abu Dhabi every two years, demonstrating military industry and military production in general. Armenia was not only participating in the event for the first time, but for the first time was presented in a certain military production at an international exhibition, said Hovanisian. The Defense Ministry spokesman Arturin Hovanisian added that the new products of the Armenian military industry have been displayed and that by participating in such international platforms, Armenia can establish serious ties which will be useful in the future. It is already 19 years that on 21st February we celebrate the International Mother Language Day. In the territories occupied by Turkey, Uyghur language, Mleso language, and Cappadocian Greek are now completely abolished, and the Herzegovin language is on the verge of elimination. Strongly endangered languages are Ladino and Gagauz language. Western Armenian, Romanian, Hampshire language, Abkhazian, and also other languages are classified as endangered. Since 2000, with the initiative of UNESCO, 21st February is considered as the International Mother Language Day. This year is more important because the UN announced 2019 as a year of native languages. More than 7,000 languages are spoken throughout the world. Lucina Berejiklian, one of the last survivors of genocide against Armenians, passed away at the age of 106. She lived in Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina, practically all her life, and was one of the active members of the local Armenian community. According to the documents, Lucina Berejiklian was born in 1909 in the city of Aintab. During the genocide, their family fled to Syria. In exile, she lost her mother as well as father. It is better not to remember the genocide. I cannot sleep because of these memories, said Lucina Berejiklian in an interview with Clarin in 2015. 
The Minister of Environment and Urban Development promises to renovate the Armenian St. Kyriakos Church in the Sur region of Diyarbakir, which was largely damaged during the clashes between Turks and Kurds in 2015. St. Kyriakos Church is one of the largest Christian churches in the Middle East. After the major renovations in 2011, it again opened its doors to believers. In November 2012, after 32 break after the renovation, here took place the first church ceremony. On the same day, the church also hosted the first wedding. The renovation works of St. Kyriakos Church were carried out with the financial support of the Armenian Patriarch of Constantinople. This was all for today. Goodbye.